Hi everyone, it's Georgia here from UK Scrap Addicts. Um, this month's theme is selfies, so I decided to do it in my cutesy style smashbook. I've been doing a few different layouts in this one. Um, I'm really enjoying it at the moment. I've got quite an eclectic set of layouts in here. Um, I picked this particular page because I really liked the sentiment on the left hand side. Um, it says always look on the bright side. So what I decided to do was use some Vicky Bootin Creative FX texture paste. It's in a rose gold and I used that on the Bramble Fox stencil that I had. Um, I then decided to go over with some stamping and this is another Vicky Bootin stamp and die set. So I used the flower one and then I'm using some Vicky Bootin colour wheel inks which I got for a really good price from Hobbycraft in the clearance as well as the stamp and die set which I think the stamp and die set was £7 and the inks were like £4 each which is really good. So I stamped in two different coloured pinks in the corners because the idea was when I lay the photos down they'd just sort of be peeking out of the edges. Um, did all of that. I had to leave it to dry probably for about half an hour so it didn't really take too long. Um, and then I decided to back the photos um, on some card but what I wanted to do was as you can see now I'm putting some washi tape down so I wanted the washi tape to add like another bit of texture so I layered all the about three or four different washi tapes up um, and sort of laid it up across two corners and then I decided to go over with some shimmers it's in the colour mint to be so I just flicked that across and I got it everywhere. It went all over my desk, all over me. I ended up wondering why my glasses were a bit um, like fuzzy. And I looked at my glasses and I had speckles of it all over my glasses. So that wasn't particularly great. But luckily it comes off really easily. So as you can see, I'm just doing a quick little clean up. One thing I cannot stand is a messy desk. So I have to clean up as I go along. Um, as you can see, this is how I wanted it to look. So I've got the photos laid out um, and then I flick through this really old 6x6 six six paper pad and I've got barely any pages left in this. I used this for a layout last year for UK Scrap Addicts and I used all of the branding strips. So there's, bare, there's literally hardly any pages left. So I picked this floral one because I really want to get this um, paper pad used up. So I decided to back all the, the four little photos. I think they are approximately three by two because I managed to fit them all on a six by four um, paper to, and printed it at home. So I stuck them all on with really cool Snapchat filters. And you're going to see how cat handed I am now because I just watching this video makes me realize how I really can't seem to use a trimmer properly. Um, I don't even know what I'm doing with my left hand. It's just so awkward. Um, I don't really know why I didn't turn the trimmer to the other side, but lesson learned. That's probably why I struggled so much to match it all up. And then I still had to go in with scissors afterwards because it was wonky. Um, <laughs> I just find it really weird seeing my arm like that. It looks like a chicken wing. So, as you can see, I'm now trimming it because... Clearly, I don't know how to use a trimmer. Yep, cutting more off. And yep, some more coming off because my trimmer skills are lacking. Um, I use little foam pads to stick these down because I wanted to sort of raise them up a little bit. Um, but I managed to mess up and accidentally stick two photos together which you will see me do in a second when I move them out of the way because I'm really clever like that. And yep, there, there we go. Just stuck them straight on top of each other. Um, and because it's paper, like photo paper that I've printed at home, they don't peel apart very easily. So there's me trying to peel off the foam pad and getting really mad of it because I was annoyed at myself for ruining it because it peeled the layer of paper straight off the top right there on the right hand bit of the picture so I stuck them all down I'm sorry I cut out a little bit then I think when I was filming it stopped 
but basically what you you've only missed I stuck some Amy Tangerine puffy stickers randomly around it um, and then I used the Chamel sticker book here to cover that mistake up so there you go you would never even know that I ripped off half the photo so I thought these were cute little stickers again the colors go with the page on the left hand side um, and I thought I know I'll stick this fabulous down and it turned out to be the most awkward sticker known to man. It was so fiddly. I thought it'd be a really bold sticker, but it's not. It's really thin, and I did not have the patience to peel that off. So I gave up. I just stuck it back down and thought, nope, that's not happening right now. Because I knew I'd end up ripping it, so I just thought there's no point. I'll wait until I've got more patience, or wait until I'm at a crop and let somebody else peel it off for me that has patience because I don't really have much patience for things like that. I try to but then I end up i being so careful and then I'll end up ripping it and I just get really sad. I really like these sticker books because there's so many stickers in there and I like the way that some of them are like a plasticky sticker and like these ones are paper. So I thought they went quite good with the um with the layout they just had different sentiments on and then I just carried on flicking through because I couldn't decide what I wanted to use but I'm pretty much coming to the end of the layout now the only thing you'll miss is that I did stick a title on but I ran out of battery so I stuck a title on with some very old pink fresh studio um, sort of thickers which say real story so that's my layout there is a blog post I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next month. Thank you.